Stefan are in front of a Bosch car with a video in front of it. What are we seeing? Now we see here a um, vision of an uh, intellection concept. The next five to six, seven years, how interaction could happen inside a car. A car which is connected um, with the smart home, with the office, with leisure places. So that's one of our main messages here we want to address. Um, no frontiers between home, car, office, leisure places, between passenger and driver, and between inside and outside of the car. Okay, so what are they doing right now? So they are driving towards an highway, and the smart home indicates while driving that there's somebody on the door that's ringing the bell. So that means now the system detects inside the car that we can drive autonomous, to handle this uh, situation yes. autonomously. Yes, so, so they're now driving autonomously at 76 miles an hour, but they're talking to the person on the, uh, in front of their house as well. Yeah. Okay. And so then, oh, now he, he was smart enough to slow down to 65 miles an hour. Yeah, but it's um, currently we have cars doing this already yes. on the street. In Stuttgart? Yeah. Yeah. on specific roads. Yes. means not every road has the ability to drive autonomous in such a high speed, but on the German Autobahn we have um, areas where we can do this policy for development and research purposes. So, if you already have this in concept and it's driving in Germany, how long before you could see something like this happening uh, and being produced? Oh, that's, I'm the responsible one for the interaction concept, so this kind of information I can't provide, unfortunately. Right. Now, the middle screen, he's talking and he's uh, talking to somebody on his, in his house. Right, that's our uh, security system, so we have cameras located around the house, yes. and he can interact with the persons around his house uh, while driving home, for example. What is the right screen where there's a bunch of kids? Yeah. The right screen is the so-called passenger display, so that means the passenger has his personalized area and he has the complete access to all stuff he has on his personal device. So sort of like having an office with your own kids' pictures and everything. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, Facebook, it's Twitter, it's whatever else. You can have uh, uh, slideshows. You can use this part of the car like a personal device. You don't have to take it with it because it's connected. Okay, go further inside the car in the center console. What is that? That's a haptic display. Oh, it uses all of your different senses yeah. on, your, on yeah. your phone. That's okay. also uh, one of the CS2000. 16 awards here and we have it in the car and also outside for uh, the experience for our um, exhibit visitors. I call it like braille reading, like you read with your yeah. fingers. Oh look, what just happened up front? It just went orange and, and, and yeah. green. That's also an interesting uh, security feature, so the car knows we are at our place at home. And before we go inside our property, we want to check the secu security. It means we are checking the cameras, we are checking what we have seen now on the, now the um, status inside the house. And this is the so-called 3D surround view, means we are, can look around the car with our cameras we use for this uh, complete driver assistance to see if there is somebody in our blind spot. So that only authorized persons step also with us inside the property. This is a way cool car, uh, house, by the way. Yeah. yeah. This we have a good house? no. We have a good architect <laughs> for that. All right. And anything else? From my point, not. Okay. So we are connected. This is the the next must-have, or this should express the next must-have personal mobile device. Yes. So you don't need a smartphone any longer. That's your smartphone. You're sitting in it, and you drive along, and you are connected. It's safe. Our claim is uh, invented for life. Life means safety, security, in the car or outside the car, in the smartphone. Thank you, Stefan.